Okay, so welcome back everyone. Matthew's Tech Storage UK here. And uh, well, this is part two of the VMware workstation. I believe this should be the last part, so I should hopefully cover all the basics for you guys to get set up and uh, running your virtual machines. But today what we're going to do, guys, as, as uh, planned from the last video, we're going to be doing a shared folder tutorial. So basically that means in your virtual machines, you can obviously share files between your main operating system and the virtual machine, or possibly a mapped network drive, or possibly even two virtual machines uh, on the network or on the same computer. So what you're going to do is, obviously, I'm using VMware Workstation 12 Player for this current tutorial. But um, if I do, if I start doing a few other videos, if I say maybe on Oracle Logic, which I've got installed here, um, then like I say, I will do that. So what you're going to do is, if you go into your v uh, VMware Workstation 12 Player just here. Now, from last video, we ha we installed. Oh, sorry, twice again. Keep doing that. So from last video, we actually installed Windows XP Home Edition. So we're still going to be using the same operating system. This is exactly the same operating system from last video, by the way. Nothing has changed. So what you're going to do is you're going to make sure the virtual machine is powered off, only because you can't set up shared folders or add a folder whilst the virtual machine is running. So yes, yeah, so yeah. Make sure it's powered off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on here and go to settings, just the second option down here. You'll be brought up this little menu, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Options tab just at the top here. And as you can see, there is an option called Shared Folders. Now, as it is currently disabled, like I say, if the virtual machine was running, you would not be able to change it to Always Enabled. So if you change this here to Always Enabled, and what you're going to do is, just, just for easiness, I would suggest ticking this box here saying Map as Network Drive in Windows Guests. That basically means when you switch on your virtual machine, when you go into My Computer, or computer if you're using Windows 7, um, then it will, and then obviously your ship, the, the folder will definitely show up as a maps network drive, so it's just easy to get to basically. So that, when you go to the add button here, we, this is where you're obviously going to choose your folder. Now, before we do this, um, as you can see on my desktop, let me just close this again, I've got a folder here called share. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one on the desktop again, so we'll call it, um, we'll call it uh, desktop share. If we go into this folder here, we'll make a new text document, and we'll just call this, uh, this is, sorry, this is my test. Go into that, and just go across here, and we'll just call it hello. So if we just save this, so that's our first folder. Now, if we say, for example, if we want to put a folder somewhere else, so we're going to have two shares. So if we go into the local disk, don't, you don't have to copy me, by the way. You can put your folder absolutely anywhere you like in your system. So we're going to go to new folder here. I'm just going to call this. Um, uh, uh, I'm just going to call it desktop share two. So now we've got a folder on our C drive, and we've also got one on our desktop. So we're going to add these as two separate drives. So like again, if we go back into VMware Player, and then we're going to drag this over here. Right click settings, options, shared folders. Always enabled and go to add. Now this is, this will bring you the add a shared folder wizard. So if you go to next, this is where you're going to add the first one. So obviously what we're going to do is we're going to go to browse. We'll add our first share, which is called desktop share. So we're going to click on that and click OK. And for the name, you can call it whatever you like, but I'm just going to leave it as desktop share. Actually, no, I'll call it um, I'll call it share one. So Okay, next, and obviously, if you were to obviously, and uh, if you don't want the virtual machine user to be able to say, I don't know, um, uh, put files on there, you can obviously take, you can obviously enable, but also if you click on read only, obviously, like I say, it won't be able to put any files on there apart from you. So we're going to untick that because we don't want that on there. So it's going to hit finish. And that's our first share added. So what we're going to do is now we're going to add the second share we just made. So if we go back to the wizard, browse. Go back to our computer that was on the C drive. And if we just have a look here, there's our desktop share two folder. And then we're going to call this share two. And we go to next, enable the share, that's done. So now you've done your so now you've actually just successfully come hopefully you've got no problems, but if you do, like I said, put it in the comments. So hopefully you, you would have uh, enabled your first shared folder. So what you're gonna do is now just to show it's working, so if you hit OK just here, and as you quickly saw then. Uh, it will say to say when you click OK, it will change to enable, so don't worry, that will always stay on. Uh, so if we go back to here and just start our virtual machine up, and we'll just wait for this to load here. Good old Windows XP. It is relatively quick, so hopefully it should uh, 
Just the fire option in us straight away. Yep, there we are. So what we're going to do is, if you just go, so like I say, it might take a few seconds to obviously pop up. So if you go to start and then obviously go to your computer. So as you can see, we've got our first share and any second now it might pop up on the second. Actually, it might not. It might be in the same share possibly. Let's just have a look in here. Just going to wait for it. There you go. Yep, sorry. So what you do is you go into your share. So it'll be on VMware host. Go into there, and as you can see, there's our two share folders. So if you're going to share one, there's our little text document we made on the desktop share. And obviously it says hello. Now, if you go back into the share two folder, if we actually go back to the share on the main operating system, which is desktop two. So if I put this, if I put Windows XP over here, so let's just say make another text document or make a folder. So I'll do a text document for this example, and we'll call it um, test and hit enter. And as you see, it should let's just do a refresh. There you go. As you can see, it pops up straight away. And obviously, if we make another folder, call it now, um, folder one, and then make another folder in there called, say, folder two. And if, if it doesn't pop up, guys, right click in a blank space and go to refresh. And there you go. There it is, folder one, and folder two. So there you go, guys. So that's it, as easy, it's literally as easy as that. So that's how you set up a. Shared folder within an operate, uh, virtual machine operating system environment. You can also map network drives. So, say for example, you've got a network drive or, or a NAS drive on your network at home or possibly in your business. Like I say, it's exactly the same way as adding this. You'd obviously just go into your C drive and add that as a drive. So there you go, guys. So thanks for watching anyway. Hope this helped. Uh, please comment, like, and uh, subscribe if this helped you. And thanks for watching. So, like, like I say, guys, any questions or queries, Please just comment below. I do try to get back to you all. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.